May I have your attention, please? The Earth is a sphere. That is all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. How does anyone achieve this level of misunderstanding? I'll tell you, we may have found a replacement for that guy. Warning! Severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. I was just sitting in my classroom and my teacher was telling us how the equator works and she says it's a line that goes straight across the earth, right? So then I had a question for my teacher and I said, why are places near the equator hotter? Why are they hotter, Mrs. Teacher? And she answers, on the Earth, the equator receives more sunshine than do the poles. This is due to simple geometry of the Earth's curvature. A given amount of sunshine in a beam falling on the equator, which points directly at the sun, has a much more intense effect than the glancing ray spread over a much larger area of the curving surface near the poles. Yep, that's pretty much it. That was easy. Haven't we always talked about they're always going to throw this really stupid stuff at you, uh, this dumbed down stuff? It's so you think it's funny, you don't take anything serious. I, I tell you this for a reason, guys. It's a psychological thing. It really is psychological warfare. They do the same thing over and over again. Notice it. And then my teacher has the audacity to show me this little graphic. And she says, the equator is hottest when the sun is hitting it at 90 degrees. Huh? Oh, okay. And then she says, it's cooler at angles. So anything, so 45 degree angles, 30 degree angles, it's coldest. Let's just throw it in there, 60 degree angles. You're saying angles get cooler, right? Huh? Okay. Keep that in your thoughts, folks. Let's take a look at this diagram. If the sun is over to the right, and I mean way, way over to the right like it is in reality, the rays from the sun are essentially parallel by the time they reach us. So we can take simply the size of the sphere of the Earth and divide it up into, let's say, 10 sections like I did here. Each section representing 10% of the light coming from the sun. Now, if I look at the very center of the sphere, that area right there, that's an 11 degree arc of that sphere. But if I look at the extreme north or, or the extreme south, there or there, those areas are 37%. So the same amount of light that strikes the center of the sphere covers 3.3 times as much of the sphere when we go to the north end or the south end of it. That means it is 3.3 times as concentrated in the center as it is at either end. That explains why the center of the Earth, near the equator, is much hotter than it is at either the North Pole or the South Pole. Does that make sense to you? So I go to earth.nullschool.net, a visualization of global weather conditions forecast by supercomputers updated every three hours, and they show me this photo. Sea surface temperature on the globe. Now that looks very similar to what my teacher showed me, right? The sun is hitting the equator at 90 degrees. That's why it's hot, right? This all makes sense. Oh wait, no it doesn't, because last time I checked, our Earth had a tilt, remember? Our Earth is tilted 23.4 degrees. Is everyone just forgetting about that? So let's see what they got wrong. They're saying the equator is like this. The sun is hitting the Earth at 90 degrees. That's what they're saying. 
But wait, we're going to take the tilt into account because we're not idiots. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Scooter. I think you've got an excellent shot at idiot status. And we're going to make this little diagram. So now the equator is exactly where it should be, at 66.6 .6 degrees. We subtract 23.4 from 90, and then we get 66.6. .6. See? I knew you could do it. So I'm looking at this graphic that I had to make myself because people are forgetting that the Earth is tilting for some reason. And you couldn't be bothered to search for an image like one of these, huh? And I wonder to myself, if my teacher is saying it gets cooler at angles, and I assume you believe that 66.6 .6 is an angle, right? I'm thinking, that shouldn't it be 90? Shouldn't our equator be like this, Mrs. Teacher? I mean, according to your logic, our equator is in the wrong place. So why the f*** is it at 66.6 .6 if that's a cooling area? Remember you said it gets cooler at angles? I don't know, but you should certainly know. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone is now dumber for having listened to it. Shouldn't the equator look like this? That's what you're telling all your students. But it doesn't make sense because our Earth is tilting, remember? I mean, you should know that the Earth is tilting 23.4 degrees. I mean, that doesn't that make a big difference? It means our sun rays are not hitting the equator at 90 degrees. It means they're hitting it at 66.6 .6 degrees. Hmm, why is that happening? Well, that's happening because you're ignoring the fact that the Earth is orbiting the sun. The Earth spins on its axis, but that axial tilt is always pointed in the same direction. During the summer solstice, the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, so it's summertime in the north, winter in the south. Six months later, the southern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, so it's summertime in the south and winter in the north. During the equinoxes, the Earth's axial tilt is in line with the orbit of the Earth. That means the equator is directly opposite the Sun. But in between times, the Sun's position moves between the two tropics, the Tropic of Cancer in the north and the Tropic of Capricorn in the south. Is it that hard for you to understand? Is that little ray of Sun just hotter than the other rays of Sun? I mean, it seems like it's hotter than the 90 degree sun ray. But according to you, that should be the hottest one. So I'm confused. Help me out. Are we understanding each other? Huh? You're an idiot! <laughs> so I'm going to now gonna simulate a 90 degree angle on the equator. Even though that this doesn't happen in real life. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So in this photo, I simulated the angle. The sun is hitting the equator at 90 degrees. But wait, another problem is introduced. Now Antarctica is really f***ing warm. Shouldn't Antarctica be melted if it's hitting it at 90 degrees? The equator is f***ing impossible on the globe, folks. It doesn't make sense. Look at this image and tell me if it makes sense to you. Hmm? How does that make sense whatsoever? Hmm? I don't know. All I know is that my teacher, Mrs. Teacher, is really contradicting herself. Hey, thanks for watching. There's more of that, but you know, sometimes a man's just gotta know his limitations. 
tell you what, you guys push those little buttons down there and we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, Gladys, let's get out of here. <laughs>